Good morning, YouTubers. It's Bob again. Today we're going to check out some exhaust tips. Um, and the reason why I decided to look at exhaust tips is because I came out to my car and stared at it one day. And I was like, what the fuck is this? Lexus actually gave me a piece of shit looking tailpipe. Um, and, I, I, and I know this only comes on the base models. I know that the premium and the luxury models comes with some fancy looking trims and stuff back here. But this is what you get when you get a freaking base model. This piece of shit looking, sorry excuse for a tailpipe. So the first thing I'm going to want to do in order to start sh shopping for a tailpipe online is I'm going to want to measure the diameter. So right here the diameter says two and a half inches. Okay, now we're looking from a sideways view of the tailpipe because this is where we're going to measure how long we want our tailpipe to be. Our, we, one of the first things you're going to measure from is this weld mark right here. Lexus has this huge weld mark where no matter what tailpipe we stick in here, it's going to stop at this weld mark. So this is the point where we're going to start measuring from. Okay, and where we want to stop, we're not going to stop right here because this is pushed way too far in. Nobody's going to see your brand new tailpipe, the one that you spent 20, 30 bucks on. You want it to stick out just a little, not too far out. It's going to look very unclassy if you've got something sticking way out and it's not going to look like it's part of the car. You want this to be looking like it's part of the car. It came from Lexus, okay? So if you have a base model with this piece of shit tailpipe, the, the least you can do is do it a favor and, and give it a nice clean look with a brand new tailpipe okay so let's start from this weld mark right here and let it extend it out to where the bumper ends and when I say where the bumper ends you're gonna notice my bumper is way up here and then it starts going in and going in like this okay so this is really important while you're looking at this shape because now with this type of contour you're gonna want some kind of exhaust tailpipe that's going to be slanted just like this so it looks like it's part of the car you don't want a straight one the straight one's gonna look way too tacky unless you're into tacky I, I, I know some co-workers that are into transvestites and stuff like that I got pictures if you guys want to see them uh, just private message me so what I'm gonna want to do is start from the weld mark right here go all the way out and where the contour plane stops right here before it starts making this radii it's about 12 inches okay so well, 12 inches speaking of which this is about four inches longer than my cock uh, it's just a fun fact I had to add in there guys sorry about that okay so we're gonna look for a 12 inch by two and a half inch diameter tailpipe okay two magic numbers we need to remember so I actually went on to Amazon and eBay and I looked for tailpipes that were 12 inches in length by two and a half inches in diameter for the inlets, okay? So even though um, um, it says two and a half inch diameter on Amazon, it doesn't mean that it's going to fit a two and a half inch diameter tailpipe on your car, okay? So it's pretty much telling you, this is two and a half inches right here. If you try to stick a two and a half inch onto a two and a half inch diameter tailpipe, it's not gonna fit, all right? They, it just doesn't fit. I, I try to squeeze the sucker in there and it just doesn't fit. Even though this sucker looks really, really nice. If you want to, you guys can actually take this split and open right here. Take a pry bar and pry it open and try to shove this thing in there. But I am not going to ruin this because I prefer to return it and just get one size bigger. Okay, but you guys can go ahead and do that. The, the thing I really like about this, and it comes in chrome, stainless steel, and it comes in uh, black uh, powder coat okay and it's it's by a company called um, ACOC ironically right ACOC exhaust tip universal exhaust tips right it takes a bolt to tighten it right here same thing for this one right a hex bolt to tighten it and let's go ahead and measure it to see if it's truly 12 inches and it is truly 12 inches right here Two and a half inches diameter. Look at that. Same thing with this one. Really nice finish, guys. Black powder coat. 12 inches by, there you go, two and a half inches. I try to shove this in there. And if you notice, I have a lot of scratch marks right there. And this thing would not go in. So my recommendations, right? Do not go on Amazon and look for a two and a half inch diameter for a two and a half inch uh, tailpipe 
outlet, okay? So I went back online. Let's set these aside. I went back online and I went to a company called um, Apex, Apex Motor. And I also bought um, black and chrome, okay? The only difference between this two and those two is these lips right here are rolled. See that? These are sharp cuts. So depending on what ki kind of style you like, um, I went ahead and just bought something different. Um, I prefer to get the rolled kind. The only reason why I didn't get the rolled kind for this new one is because uh, they wouldn't ship it um, overnight or the next day for me. These came overnight. This one actually took a couple of days and I just couldn't wait. So right here, let's go ahead and take a look at these brand new tailpipes, okay? These brand new ones also said 12 inches and there you go, 12 inches, 12 inches. This also um, says it's stainless steel, polished, really nice looking too, look at that. Right here, black powder coat, really nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the diameter now. If we go ahead and measure the diameter, this one is two and three quarters. Two and three quarters is doable, okay? So we're gonna be missing a quarter. Okay, so uh, two and three quarters, we're going to stick this in there and we're gonna tight this and see how it fits, okay? So let's go ahead and check it out right now. I'm, I'm gonna put this on temporarily just so you guys could see what they look like. Let's go ahead and put the black ones on first. Let's see how the fit is. Look at that, slides right over. Later on, we're gonna tighten this to see how the fit is. Okay, there you go. Wow, look at this in black. Let's take a look at it at this angle, just like that. What do you guys think? Too plain looking? Okay, also, I noticed that this diameter is wide enough where you can actually adjust this, right? and you could tighten it, it went right over the weld mark, okay? Let me show you, it went right over the weld mark. We didn't even have to stop at the weld mark. We could go all the way in and tighten it if we want to. So do I wanna keep this one? I don't know, let's take it out and let's check out the chrome one, okay? Check out what the chrome one looks like. Went ahead and went over the weld mark pushed it in as far as I want it. I don't have to stop at the weld mark. If I think it's gonna stick out too far, then great. Look at that. Adjust it and I'll tight, tighten it accordingly. Now look at it. What do you guys think of this one? Actually, the chrome one is kind of growing on me. What do you guys think? This is a beautiful thing. Look at this. Look at that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and install the chrome one, guys. Let's go ahead and install the chrome one. Okay, now we're looking up right here above where the screw hole is. It takes an Allen bolt. I used a number six Allen key right here. I put it on a quarter inch socket and just so it can get some uh, clearance right here. I'm gonna go ahead and start tightening this sucker. Don't worry about this black plastic piece, guys. It's made out of plastic, so it's not a hard object. You can actually squeeze in here. No big deal. Just make sure your your socket is on tight. Oh. Come on, son of a fucking bitch, you mother fucking piece of shit. Fucking, am I still recording? Oh, sorry about that, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. I totally disregarded this Allen key that came with the box. I'll be using this instead. The space down here is a little tight. You're gonna probably need some, take off this black plastic piece, but I'm not going to because I'm just a lazy fuck, guys. I'm probably gonna have a six pack of beer after this. What do you guys think? Okay, so I'm just gonna tighten it, and this is pretty easy to tighten. There's plenty of space for this Allen key right here, just not like that other socket where I'm gonna have to take off plastic pieces and probably drop the bumper and, and drop the engine just to get to this, and that's pretty bullshit. There you go, wow, that's pretty tight. That's pretty tight, that ain't going nowhere. Okay, so if you guys take a look back, let's go ahead and take a look back here. What do you guys think of that sucker? Holy crap. Man, that's a hard on waiting to happen. That's a beautiful thing. Look at that, dude. Okay, I even made sure it's straight on all angles. 
I made sure it's not pointing downward and it's not pointing too upward. It's at water level. Perfect. What do you guys think? I kind of like it.